Welcome to Paris Nice 2020. 166 and a half kilometers on the menu for stage two between Chevreuse and Chalet sur Loire, winding through the countryside south of Paris. After three minor climbs in the early part of the stage, it was expected to come down to a bunch sprint. With Jonathan Hiver going up the road for the second time in as many days. This time he was joined by Jose Manuel Diaz and the Frenchman tightening his grip on the polka dot jersey, picking up a maximum 12 points on the day's three climbs. The duo never more than three minutes ahead of the peloton, as the sprinters teams kept them on a very tight leash indeed. With the gap coming right down with just over 60 kilometers to go, Yvair and Diaz soon swallowed up by the surging pack. Bora Hansgrohe working hard at the second intermediate sprint, looking to help race leader Maximilian Schachmann pick up some valuable bonus seconds. Peter Sagan himself leading out the German champion. Well, the real fireworks then began with around 30 kilometers to go as several teams up the tempo. Echelon starting to form with a number of sprinters, including Caleb Ewan and Sam Bennett missing the split. A group of around 20 riders dropping behind the main peloton. A terrible moment for a puncture, as Julien Alaphilippe found out. The Frenchman set to lose time as another favorite, Nardo Quintana, crashed. The Colombian also forced a dig deep to try to close the gap, but he and Alaphilippe soon found themselves a minute down on the leaders. Heading into the final 10K, another shake-up up at the front with Sagan, Schachmann and world champion Mads Pedersen putting the hammer down. Around a dozen riders pulling clear. Pedersen though was unable to hold on for the final stretch, so 11 riders set to contest the reduced bunch sprint. Schachmann and Sagan looking to tee up their designated sprinter, Pascal Ackerman. Ackerman starts, he opens up the afterburners, Nizzolo's trying to step off the wheel, he does, the Italian is charging through, Nizzolo nudges ahead, Nizzolo gets the win. So Giacomo Nizzolo taking an excellent win for NTT Pro Cycling, his second of the season after stage five of the Tour Down Under. The Italian narrowly missed out on victory at Kerna Brussels Kerner at the start of March, winning the sprint but failing to reel in Kasper Askreen after his late attack. This his 23rd career win, only a third at World Tour level. I'm feeling good uh, since the beginning of the season and uh, that's a really good result, I'm really happy. Thanks to the team, uh, they did a great job today, they support me from the start and uh, what can I say, I'm really happy and I look forward for the next races now. Ackerman forced to settle for second place behind Nitzelo and ahead of Jasper Steven, the recent winner of Omloop Het Neusblatt. Vincenzo Nibali boosting his overall hopes in seventh as Alaphilippe and Quintana lost almost a minute and a half. Schachmann extends his lead to 15 seconds over the day's winner Nitzelo, with Steven, Sergio Higita and Nils Pollitt making up the top five. There's a longer stage to come on Tuesday, over 200 kilometers between chalet sur loire and La Châtre with the solitary climb, the Category 3 Côte de la Chapelotte. Again, it looks like one for the sprinters on paper, but the first two stages have taught us to expect the unexpected at this Paris-Nice. Thanks very much for watching. Do tune in again tomorrow.